In this lesson, we're going to talk about the multiplication and division property of segments and angles as it relates to geometry. So here's the basic idea of the multiplication property. If segments or angles are congruent, their like multiples are congruent. So let's consider two segments. Let's say this is point A, B, C, and this is D, E, F. And let's say that B is the midpoint of AC, and E is the midpoint of DF. And we're given that segment AB is congruent to segment DE. So if AB is congruent to DE, does that mean that AC is congruent to DF? What would you say? According to the multiplication property, it should be. Let's multiply the left side and the right side by 2. If we do that, then we could replace 2AB with AC. For instance, if AB is 4, then BC must be 4, because B is the midpoint of AC. Therefore, AB and BC must be the same. Now, AC is 8, and AB is 4. 2 times 4 is 8, so we could therefore say AC is twice the value of AB. So 2AB is equal to AC. Now, we know that AB and DE are the same. So if AB is 4, then DE must also be 4. And since E is the midpoint of DF, EF is 4 as well. So if DE equals 2, and we can see that DF, wait, DE is not 2, that's 4. I have to correct that. So if DE is equal to 4, and DF is 4 plus 4, which is 8, we could say that DF is twice the value of DE. It's 2 times 4, which is 8. So 2DE, we can replace it with DF. AC and DF are both equal to 8. So therefore, we could say that if two segments or angles are congruent, in this case AB and DE, then their multiples are congruent. In this case, if we multiply AB and DE by 2, those multiples will be congruent. And in this example, AC is congruent to DF. Now let's move on to the division property. The division property of segments and angles is basically the reverse of the multiplication property. And here's the basic idea behind it. If segments or angles are congruent, their like divisions are congruent. So let's use a similar example to illustrate this property. And let's use the same points. Points A, B, C and D, E, F. This time, we're going to say that A, C is congruent to segment DF. Now, if that is true, then does that mean AB is congruent to DE? And let's say B is the midpoint of AC and E is the midpoint of DF. Well, let's assign numbers. So let's say AC is 12 units long. Then if B is the midpoint of AC, B bisects it into two congruent segments, which means AB is 6 and BC is 6. So if AC is 12 and if AB is 6, then we could say that half of AC is equal to AB. So in this equation, let's divide both sides by 2. So we're going to have 1 half AC and 1 half DF. Now half of AC we said is AB. 
Likewise, half of df is equal to de. Now, we're given that ac is 12, and we know ac is equal to df, so therefore df must also be 12. And if e is the midpoint of df, de and ef must be 6. And in our example, ab is 6, and de is 6. So ab will equal de. So if segments or angles are congruent, their like divisions must also be congruent. And that's the division property.